schedule for the Sunday game. Swing and a miss by Curtis on a 2-2 pitch. Good start for Austin Crook and one down in the first here. A one pitch in the air center field. That'll chase Zupsik back. He is at the track. He's at the wall. It's off the base of the wall. Lockridge already rounding second. He will head to third. No throw. Second triple of the weekend for Brandon Lockridge of Troy. 2-2, pitch to the plate, is hit in the air left field. Tagging at third is Lockridge. Stroop will center it up. He'll make the catch and lob it into second base. Davis does his job. The RBI for Trevor is his 36th. Lockridge comes home and it's one to nothing Trojans. That was unearned, that was in the third inning. Swing and a miss, three straight sliders, two called, one swung on. And a good start for Gill. Against Watts so far. Hits this one back through the box. Dove at it is uh, Matt Vernon. He won't get there. The run will score from second. The runner at first will make his way to third. Lockridge has a three for three day. He's driven in a run now. And we're all tied up two to two. He wasted no time against Watts on that one. Drove it right back between his legs on the mound. Hits this one hard and through the left side. Uh, doesn't have to sack fly this time. He will drive it in with a single. And Troy takes a three two lead here. This one's hit hard down the uh, right field line, giving Chase as a right fielder. He won't get there. That'll one-hop the wall. One runner scores, two runners score. And in at second with a two RBI double is Mason Rogers. Uh, Brian Bout did all he could on that one. Could not catch up to it. It one-hops the wall in right. And Rogers continues his good work. And the Trojans lead now 5-2. to two. Jackson battling here. That's a hard hit ball, a low line drive that is stabbed with the backhand side by Matt Sanders. That's a nice play, not easy to do. That's a sinking liner away from him, and he's able to stab it for the out. Yes, yeah, sinking to the backhand side. He sort of crab walked after. We take a look on ESPN3, and yep, right at the shoelaces. He makes the play. That's going full. And he'll punch him out with a strike on the inside corner. Gill challenged him and won. Not sure what Bout was looking for there. But what he got was something he didn't want. That one cleared it easily. Swing and a miss here. Back-to-back -back strikeouts ends the inning for Appalachian State. And Gill has retired all six batters he has faced in relief. Stretch. And pitch, swing and a miss. He struck him out. Foul tip at the plate, hung on to by Chase Smart. Fourth strikeout for Gill, and that one was big. Active players in the NCAA with 104 career appearances, and he waves at a slider, and Vernon goes down hacking. Stroop has homered seven times. This pitch is on the corner, strike three called, and Stroop knew it. Skinner comes on, looks like a million bucks, strikes out two in a dicey situation, and we go to the stretch. Troy six, Appalachian State three. Pitch, that's grounded. Nice backhanded play by Sanders, throw to first. Oh, he got him. Goodness gracious, that's improbable. Avery Jackson, he's probably ready to see the end of Mark, of, uh, Matt Sanders, remember Sanders picked his line drive to the backhand side in the sixth and goes deep in the hole to dive, knock it down, and a bullet to first to get him. One gone. Brill throws in the air right field with some depth. Balk will go back to the track. He will look up, and it is gone. An opposite field home run for Lockridge over the scoreboard in right. His third this year. 11 to three Trojans. Boy, he got every bit of that. You could see the right fielder Balk uh, quickly turn and look, thinking it might catch the top of the wall. Works in front 0-2. There's a line drive, speared by Lockridge. He'll throw to first. The double up is completed, and Troy has won the series. In the ninth, no runs, one hit, and one man left on base. Your final score in game three of the series, Troy 11 and Appalachian State 3.